There's a red button. We got it. Recording. All right, this morning, uh, the banjo that I have uh, in my hands is pretty dang incredible. Uh, I took it all apart yesterday and checked it out, uh, put it back together. It's a Yatesified uh, RB1, uh, RB250. The pot assembly looks to be all original. It has no serial number on the inside of the rim, which means that it's probably like a 1960, 1961. Uh, they were putting serial numbers on the back of the peg heads at that point in time. Uh, but this is a full thickness, free ply, hard rock maple rim. I believe all the hardware is original, with the exception of the tailpiece. It's an aftermarket uh, Presto tailpiece. Armrest looks correct. All the hardware looks correct. Um, it did have, uh, when I got the banjo, it did have the long L brackets on it which lifts the, pot, the, uh, the rim out of the pot assembly, out of the resonator, and it actually changes the uh, tonal cha tone chamber of the banjo. They went to the short uh, L brackets during the post-war banjos because they made the sides of the resonator wall about an eighth of an inch higher than on the pre-war. So to get the same tone chamber as the pre-war banjos, you need to leave those short L brackets on there or in a lot of cases, if I'm cutting down a 100 or what have you, I will have the resonator sidewalls recut and the lip inside lowered to pre-war specs and then put the long L brackets on. So anyway, I didn't figure that out for quite a few years. But it, uh, it, this now ha it has the same tone chamber as the pre-war. It has a Yates V33 unplated, no hole tone ring in it. Uh, and the neck, at first I thought maybe it was a reproduction neck, but the closer I looked at it, and I took the truss rod cover out and everything in there, looked like old Gibson, the old Gibson truss rod and everything. But this has to be, the neck has to be prior to like 1958. Uh, I think it was in 58 that they took that uh, last bow tie out of the neck and uh, uh, just left it. So, uh, but at any rate, the neck is in near mint condition. The banjo is in near mint condition, really. There's not a scratch on the resonator. A couple little, there's weather checks on it, but the banjo is in very, very good condition. That being said, the most distinguishing characteristic about this banjo <laughs> Incredible sound, incredible sound on this banjo. incredible the balance all the way up and down the neck is incredible uh, this is a very good banjo make make somebody a real happy camper thanks